everybody, welcome to Illegal Alien Racing. We're out here at Dallas Karting Complex with the 121 cart. Just getting some practice in, getting some laps in. All right, uh, so here's the uh, 32 Sodi Illegal Alien LO206 cart. The one that I'm always driving in the videos. Quick walk around. I'll explain what some of the stuff is um, from front to back. All right. This nose piece does come off and it's a little dented up. Let me see if we can get a shot of that. A little bit. All right. Here's the accelerator pedal. Of course, the brake. We've got brake fluid right here. I checked that to make sure there's brake fluid. Um, there's been a couple instances where I didn't know I had a leak. I didn't know it. And there was none in there. This right here is our where our heels go. We can rest our feet. And of course, our feet go on the accelerator there. So here's a fuel tank. Fuel line comes through here. Here's the fuel filter. It goes up to the engine. And it does its engine stuff. Uh, what's cool about these engines in the LO206 is you're not allowed to really work on them. Like, here's a lock right here. There's a lock here. And there's one right there. If we break those locks to open the motor up and do what people that goof with motors do, uh, we are not allowed to race. You become illegal, and I will really be illegal alien racing at that point. So we don't do that. There's a fuel filter. This little device here is um, to help the uh, stress for the uh, exhaust pipe here. It, it, it does really shift a lot. This same thing does too. It keeps this pipe here from moving back and forth. Um, and from cracking this piece here, um, you can put oil in through there or through here. You can drain it here, and it's got one in the back. You can drain it here as well in the back. This is a, a little catch can, if you will, for excess. Uh, here's the choke. <clears throat> here's the sprocket in the back we change these out depending on the weather and temperature and blah 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 what track we're at this is the brake in the back it's only got brakes in the back only uh, right here are weights these are diver weights these are five pound weights we add these to the cart to make our minimum weights when we're racing I've got two slots here for two more and this thing right here is the um, the uh, transponder a little yellow thing that we rent goes in here and that little yellow thing uh, communicates our cart position lap times etc when they're racing um, what else this is about it here's the clutch and there's the seat and there's the front view facing out that's about it there's not too much to these carts like mechanically it's a very um, low cost to get into to operate compared to some of the other carts out there and uh, really enjoying it and um, look forward to a lot of years of karting. The 121 car. It's a brand new cart this year, a new chassis, uh, but he maintained the 121 number. So we're looking forward to this cart. We're looking forward to racing against this cart in this upcoming season. It's got a leak up here in the cap somewhere. So what I'm going to do is take the old one off, put it back on. As long as I uh, keep the fuel level under here. It'll, um, it won't leak, so that's what we're going to do. So I got my uh, free mechanic car here, full service pit area here. He's actually going to remove that really easy, kind of. Yeah, it comes out this way better. Boom. There you go. All right, then you put these in. Screw that back in. Screw this back in. Put the bolt in there. There's normally a knob, but I didn't check it one day and it fell off, so I had to get a this little deal right here in there. Now this this fuel tank is cracked. As long as I don't fill it up over this uh, bolt, I'm fine. Some guys are about to rent the DD2. DD2 cart number six. Part number one, or a little battery change here. And we got Samantha, the dog. Samantha. Samantha.
on guys, we got a, uh, a DD2 rental guy behind us. So we're gonna kind of let him warm up and let him get in front of us and just kind of get some video of him. He's gonna just drive around, get the feel of it. Look at that acceleration. Let's try to catch him in the corners because I know he's gonna kind of be filling it out, but man. He's gone. the fastest car you've driven up till this point before this one the GT Max oh okay what's the difference between those and the GT Max and the DD2 those don't even they're not even the same ballpark as these I mean this is five times what those are. major leagues versus double-a baseball yes so you're about to drive the DD2? Is this the first time you've ever driven it? That's correct. What's the fastest car you've ever driven? Uh, just today is 70 mile an hour, so stepping it up. The rental carts? That's right. That's that's what, right. You've GT only driven Max. the rental? Oh, the GT Max. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. What, do you, uh, what are your thoughts before you go out there? What do you think? Uh, I saw my buddy here drive. It looked pretty awesome. He was, was awesome. He was killing it. All right, we're going to follow this guy out in his rental for the first time. a DD2 rental for the first time. He's not wasting any time. Fill it out probably around the turns. Let's try to catch up with them as much as we can and get some footage for as long as we can. incredible it, it was absolutely incredible it so much power to them it's un, unreal how much power is in those little that little package what, put it out. what's the difference between that and the re regular carts that people race daily the, the handling is much more crisp the, the pickup and acceleration and, and power is, is, is so much more it's, it's, it's a lot more what about the braking crisp it, it's what you expect you could you could really trust your brakes so you can get a lot more speed going into the corner and, and trust your, your system a lot better. It's, it's pretty awesome. So what would you say to anyone out there considering renting a DD2 from Dallas Karting Complex? It's absolutely worth it. You, you have to do it. It is absolutely worth it. Samantha, come here. Hi, Samantha. Hi, pretty lady. Can't eat too much of this stuff, it uh, makes you lighter. You need, need some weight for the cart. Don't want to buy diver weights. I don't 
think it's supposed to have grass on it. What you got? Chain? I'll, I'll get the stand. Track's an eighth of a mile long. Hopefully we'll take a shortcut and go off-roading a little bit. Which is what it looks like what we're gonna do. Man, that was a long walk. Way the heck out there to get him. This is what uh, happened to his cart. Eh, simple and simple. The, something simple, the chain popped off. And without the chain, you can't get power from there to here. So, pretty simple. So that's, that's what happened and he's gonna put a new chain on there, be ready to rock and roll here in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. 